In this video we're going to work on calculating equivalent resistance. So equivalent resistance will help us solve complex circuits where there aren't distinct routes. So in this problem we're going, we need to start off by identifying which two um, resistors are in series or parallel. So we've applied that to, we've defined those for entire circuits before, but we haven't defined them for pairs of resistors. So what this means is that two resistors that are in series, they get the same current. So series means same current. I can tell if two are in series because there's no intersection between them. So if current flows through one, it has to flow through the other. For two resistors that are in parallel, that means that they are on separate paths. So there's a split and there's one resistor on each path. and then they come back together. Resistors that are in parallel always get the same voltage. Alright, so let's start off by looking at this. And I like to start off by drawing a dot at each intersection. And I'm calling any way to get from one dot to the other a path. So in this case I've got one path here and one path down this way. So you'll notice that B and C are on the same path. There's no intersection between them. So that means B and C must make a series. So, so I'm going to start off by combining resistors B and C, and they're in series. When two resistors are in series, we can find what I'm going to call resistor BC. We can combine them together by just adding their resistances. So I'm going to do 30 ohms plus 10 ohms, which gives me 40 ohms. All right, then the next step is I'm actually going to redraw this circuit. But instead of drawing um, resistor B and C separately, I'm going to combine them together into one. All right, so here's the left side. I still go up. I still have A. So A is still a 10 ohm resistor. But now down here, I'm going to combine those two into one. So instead of having this path that had two resistors on it, I just have one resistor there. But now that's resistor BC, and it is a 40 ohm resistor. All right, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and look at these routes again. I don't see any that are in series. Series are the easiest to identify. But now these two resistors are in parallel, because current can travel along either path, and along either path they'll only go through one resistor before they come back together here. Alright, so now I'm going to combine those two together to find our ABC. The formula for finding those is to take the inverse of the sum of the inverses. So that's tricky to say, so let me write it out. I'm going to do 1 divided by 1 over 10 plus 1 over 40. So plugging that in, that gives me a resistance of 8 ohms. Alright, a couple quick notes on this. When I, when I combine two that were in series, I got a higher resistance. That makes sense because it's harder for current to flow through two resistors back to back than through either one. However, when you combine two that are in series, you'll actually end up with a lower number than either resistor, because it's kind of like you have like a thicker resistor or a wider space to have current flow through. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw this. So this is now a one single 8 ohm resistor. And what this whole question is telling me is basically saying, OK, I had this whole system up here of, re of resistors, but they are going to have the same effect on my circuit as a single 8 ohm resistor. All right. Let's go ahead and try again. So on this next one, let's start off by drawing, I like to draw a couple dots at the intersection so I can identify paths. I know that current could come in here into B if it was coming from the left side, and it would split. Some would go through A, some would go to through C, and come back together. So there's no place where, where current will flow through one and then flow through the next. So there are no series here. That means there must be a parallel. Well. I see that on this path between intersections and this path between intersections, there's one resistor on each path. 
that means that A and C are in parallel. So I'm going to combine A and C. They're in parallel. And I'm going to use my parallel equation. So I'm going to plug in 1 divided by the quantity 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40. If you do it this way, you can actually, if you had more resistors that were in parallel, you could combine 3 or 4 or 5 at a time if you wanted. Alright, so when I plug that in, I get 13.3 ohms as the equivalent resistance right there. So now I'm going to replace that section between those two green dots with one path with 13.3 ohms of resistance. Again, notice that in parallel, the equivalent resistance is actually lower than either resistor. All right, so I still have resistor A. I'm sorry, that's resistor B is 30 ohms. And now I just went straight from one green dot to the next one, and I combined those two into a 13.3 ohm resistor. All right, now I see there's no split between those, so those two must be in series. And when they're in series, I can just combine them together and make one resistor. And so resistor ABC, I'll just add 30 and 13.3, and that'll give me 43.3 ohms.